What's up, everybody? It is I, the Brand Man, and I'm back here with another episode of Let's Figure This Out here on my channel. And if we had the option to be champion, I think we'd all choose that option. And uh, this figure definitely shows, because here in Basic Series 52, I have the current WWE Divas Champion, Nikki Bella. Now, I know this is kind of a shock to even, even be able to pick up this figure, because, you know, it is a very hard-to-find figure. I got this off Amazon for twenty six dollars. I know it wasn't. It's a pretty big investment for a basic, but you know most diva figures are basically elites anyways. So you know it doesn't make a difference, and it's it's a good figure too, nonetheless. No, I I, I could have gotten it cheap on Ringside Collectibles, but I didn't have anything to really buy it with. Uh, didn't have anything on me. Didn't have any money on me that I could use to purchase on Ringside, and I got you know one hundred and fifty. I have money stored up on Amazon that I, I was able to. Uh, pick up this figure with. So, you can see, we have Nikki Bella right there. It says on the side here, Nikki Bella. I know I went over basic packaging, but this one's a little different because, you can see on the back, there are more options to choose from. As you can see, we actually have, I think it's, I believe it's, these are three figures from Basic Series 45. I know Kane was in the set, and I know Mankind was in the set, because if you know, um, I have a, a, yeah, a Mankind review coming up pretty soon on this channel. Um, a couple reviews down the line. But here we actually have figures from the set. We have John Cena, Chris Jericho, The Miz, who I might be picking up. Mark Henry, I'm not going to be picking up, neither to John Cena, nor The Neville, because it's not really that great of a figure. But, who are we talking about today? We're talking about Nikki Bella, so let's crack her open and see what she looks like. There you go, Battle Pack Series 26, Nikki Bella on the left, and the new Basic on the right. Uh, the new Basic, uh, the Battle Pack 26 pales in comparison to the realistic look of Nikki Bella in Basic Series 52. It looks a hell of a lot like her. And um, here, as you can see on the front, it says Fearless Nikki on the front of her top. On the sides, you can see it says it has two Bs, obviously standing for Bella. In the back, it says Bella02. It says Nikki. If we can... Looks in there, it says Nikki on, her so on, on the left sock. I mean, a right sock. And on the left sock, it says Fearless. And she's got these sneakers here. And according to Tommy's Toy Travels, who I highly recommend. I kind of do, like, shout-outs to him in every video. But um, this whole lower half of the body, or at least the shoes and the socks, are... Um, from the basic, I mean, Elite Series 34 page, who I might be picking up. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get her. Um, I was close to buying her on Amazon, but she is forty dollars, so I don't feel like wasting or t taking out that much money for her because you know it's not that great of a figure. They're really the belt's the only reason. You can see Nikki, the hat is removable. It's got all these little spikes on it, and her hair stop and her hair. Uh, people have said that her hair was a little too light. I will agree with that. It should have been a little darker. They should have made it. Um, um, and, and, you know, the, the hat, it fits fine on her, too. So it looks, I was gonna say it was a little too small, but actually, it is the perfect size. And you can have her go alongside John Cena wearing caps. So, yeah. Um, the hair, I was going to say, it doesn't, it just doesn't look enough, it filled out enough, but then again, you wouldn't have, if so, you wouldn't have room to put a hat on. And that's basically it. Uh, she does have this, like, these weird, like, red wrist straps and some of the paint is smudged off, but if you have, like, um, like a buffer or sandpaper or, or uh, you know, stuff like that, you can, we're gonna, even nail polish remover, you can buy that and it removes scuffs and, you know, detail if you want to do customs. But I feel like I've talked way too much about this figure. Um, it's got a great amount of detail, and I highly recommend this figure. Uh, they beefed her up a little bit. I'm not going to say that Nikki's fat, but she's a bigger, she's more big, but she's bigger built out of uh, the two Bella twins. And that is it. Um, basically, that's it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this figure, this episode of Let's Figure This Out, and I hope you enjoyed this Nikki Bella figure. I highly recommend picking it up if you haven't ever had the chance to. Uh, mainly online, so I can guarantee you, you're never going to find this in stores unless you're really lucky. So, um, that's basically it.
I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Let's Figure This Out. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm out.